In this video, I will teach you everything you need to know about server-side rendering. Now, in case if you don't know me, my name is Anjon. I'm a full stack web developer and also blogger and instructor of this channel where I teach full stack web development, data structure algorithms and many more. So hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of this cool stuff. So what are we going to learn today? What is server side rendering? How does it work? Pros and cons of server side rendering? When should you use server side rendering? So what is server side rendering? Server side rendering is the common and traditional rendering system. It is also known as multi page application. Here the server serves the static HTML, CSS and JavaScript files and other static assets. The content of the web page is rendered by the HTML itself. Unlike client side rendering where the content is rendered by the JavaScript. Then how does server side rendering work? Abstractly, there are two entities on the internet. One is client, another one is server. Now what is client? Client simply means the user or more precisely it's the browser maybe or it could be a mobile application. First, the client sends a request to the server. The server then check the request and then send HTML file as response for the requested page. Browser starts parsing the HTML file from top to bottom. When the parser come across the CSS link tag, it stops parsing HTML and start downloading the CSS files and parses them. After the CSS parsing is done, it starts parsing the HTML again. While the HTML getting parsed, browser starts painting the DOM with content and styles. Because the CSS is already downloaded and parsed, that's why we can show our user the, not only the content but also with styles and that makes our user experience better. When parser come across the JavaScript script tag, it stopped parsing again and start downloading the JavaScript and parses the JavaScript. Then the browser executes the JavaScript and the web page become both viewable and interactable. Let's see a visual representation of the server side rendering process with React. First, the server sends the ready to be rendered HTML as response to the browser. Ready to be rendered means the content is already present on the HTML file. Then the browser parses them and renders the page. Now the web page become viewable and browser starts downloading the JavaScript. Then the browser executes React and React simply is JavaScript. And now the page become interactable. And that's how it ends the process. All right, let's see some pros and cons of server-side rendering. First, great SEO. Because the content is already present on HTML, that's why server-side rendering application has far more better SEO than the client-side rendering applications. When the user visit the URL for the first time, the server does not need to send all the application data to the client as response. It only need to send requested web page data. So server need to send less data and also browser need to parse less data. And that makes initial load faster in server-side rendering. It is great for static sites. User doesn't have to see blank page on initial load. Like I said before, in server-side rendering, content of the web page is rendered by the HTML, not by JavaScript. The content is already present on the HTML, so we don't have to wait for JavaScript to load in order to show the content to the user. That's why the user will not gonna see the blank page flickering that we have in client-side rendering. No need of external libraries or frameworks. You can do it with plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right, let's see some cons of server-side rendering. Frequent server calls. Whenever you change a route, you make a server call. So you might be changing routes a lot and the browser making a lot of requests to the server. And just like you, a lot of users might be doing the same thing. So the server constantly getting a lot of requests and sending a lot of response. And that's how the server gets heavy load. And that takes us to the second problem, which is getting response slowly. Because it gets heavy load, it becomes slow, so getting response might get slow. Slow navigation to any routes. Every time you change a route, the whole process that I've showed you earlier gets repeated. And it takes time to complete the whole process, so navigating routes is slow actually. Page refresh while visiting any route, but not necessarily. Every time you change route, you need to refresh the page, and the whole process will get repeated. And page refreshing is annoying, we all know that but it can be prevented. And lastly, the bad user experience when data changes frequently. All right, now we have seen the 
pros and cons of server-side rendering. Let's see when we should use this method. When to use server-side rendering. First, if you have a website or application that needs SEO, server-side rendering is your option. Second is the most of the data are static. If you have a dynamic website, you want to consider client-side rendering over server-side rendering. Also, faster initial load. If you don't want your user to wait a long time on their first load, then you would like to use server-side rendering. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have a question, feel free to comment down below. And also you can DM me on any social media as that Anjan. You can also connect me on LinkedIn. I would really appreciate that. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you later.